Hello students, our today's topic is Population Geography Chapter Number 6. Whenever we hear this word population, a general scene comes in our mind relating that there are a lot of people stricken by poverty, not having a proper place to live, not having sufficient food and all these sick kind of conditions but that is not the complete picture I'd say. To start with population is in itself a very critical at the same time very interesting topic to study. Population if we have to define this term we'll say that it is the group of people the number of people that live in a particular area. Now the people themselves may not turn out to be of a lot of use to us but it is the people only who make and use resources and are themselves resources with varying quality. It is until and unless that the human beings identify and make use of anything that is later on turned into a resource. So the number, the distribution, the growth and the qualities and characteristics of the population of any area is worth studying and analyzing in an understandable manner. While studying population we have three major questions that are related The size and distribution of the population. Second, population growth and the process of population change. And the last one, the qualities or the characteristics of the population. Before we move on to answering these questions, the first and foremost query that comes in our mind is whether the population is a good thing or a bad thing. If a country has a large population, should they promote it or should they demote it? So, to answer these questions, both advantages and disadvantages plus the conditions. Population can be advantages in certain times. Only if we find that the population is providing us with the labor force if we are able to train and skill these population then we find that it will be an addition into the income of the country
and finally there will be an addition into the market and income of the country but at the same time we find there are certain disadvantages of the population as well to start with there will be a lot of people that will have to be fed and taken care of this large number will consume more of the natural resources of the country and ultimately it will lead to a large distribution of the income we find that throughout the globe people are not distributed evenly there are certain factors which affect the population distribution or in correct terms the density of the population in any area what could be these factors let's point them out the first point which affects the population density of an area is the availability of resources and these resources will include water electricity roads housing education etc factors if these resources are available in any area the population tends to get attracted to these areas to live in a very important factor here is that the density of the population is seen higher on plain areas so wherever we find that there are plain areas around the globe we find that the population density here is more because it is easier to build houses in plain areas and uh, create the infrastructure and work climatic conditions are yet another factor which force the people to live in any area if there are areas with extreme climatic conditions we find that the population do not intend to live in these areas so suitable or moderate climatic condition is an important factor which influences population density and the most important factor which i'd say will relate with the population density of any area is the political stability and security of the people we generally find that in countries or in areas where there is a lack of political stability the government is not stable it tends to change in a very short duration which ultimately results into change of planning change of all the programs that have been running in the country which affect the lives of the people so we find that the population in these areas usually intends to move away for example if we find the countries like afghanistan 
Pakistan. Here we find that there is a lot of political instability, Sri Lanka. And because of these conditions, the national growth is very less, which is because the population do not get the sufficient chances, opportunities to involve their 100% efforts in. Also, there is a lack of security because of the unstable government. So, people do not usually choose in air, to live in areas where there is a lack of uh, political stability and all kinds of securities. So, if we relate these factors with India, we find that the population distribution is very uneven. There are areas with the lowest densities and there are areas with the highest densities as well because of the geographical formation of our country. To study here, if we start with the states with the lowest and the highest population density will be Arunachal Pradesh with the lowest population density and West Bengal with the highest. We study population density by dividing the total population of the country by the total land area of the country in square kilometers. Then there are states with low density like Uttaranchal, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura, Madhya Pradesh, states with moderate density like Assam, Maharashtra, Gujarat etc. And then states with the high density like Tamil Nadu, Northern Plains, Kerala. So we find that according to the factors that we studied earlier, the population distribution is then again variant. We find that the population in the northern plain area is very high. We have states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal in these zones with the highest almost the uh, density of population. And then we have areas of extreme terrain uh, and difficult living condition like Arunachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir where we find that the population distribution is very less. So, all these factors have to be studied while analyzing the population distribution of any area.